Huh. So apparently there was a Zoom call by Jeffrey Tubin, the CNN quote unquote legal analyst, more like histrionics analyst because he analyzes the histrionics and, uh, well, histrionics creator. More than, I mean, he doesn't really analyze anything legally, he just does a little emotional chirping. He's a, a horrible, disgusting, decrepit piece of shit human being that uh, uses his, uh, his CNN political power to demonize and subhumanize more than half the country. And that's what CNN does. They're, they're an enemy of the American people. Well, at least more than half of the American people. And no, I don't mean white people. I mean white, bl uh, black, gay, straight, all kinds of people that CNN regularly, regularly subhumanizes and vilifies. So my sympathy, my empathy for Jeffrey Tubin is zero, not a dot, squatch. The fact that Jeffrey Tubin got suspended by the New Yorker for masturbating on his work Zoom call is, well, I don't, I'm not shedding any tears for Jeffrey Tubin, but, but, let me say, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, a video which this isn't it, this is, I'm going to do something a little bit more uh, detailed, uh, but the examining the whole the whole philosophical tactic if you will of making people live by their own rules in general making people live by their own rules is not a bad idea live by the law die by the law so to speak but i'm going to say that it is not an absolute truth and then in this day and age that most of the rules that the quote-unquote left, which is really the right, the, the American left has gone so far right, we don't have a left in America anymore. We have the, the Republican right, and then we have the far right right, which is the American DNC, CCP, BLM, all that. Those are far right groups. Just because you're black and you're a nationalist doesn't mean you're not a Nazi. You're a black-faced Nazi instead of a white-faced Nazi, but you're still a motherfucking Nazi. You know, as in somebody who believes in a, a, in a superior race and believes in a state built around that assumption. So, again, I have no sympathy for any of these creepy, creepy, disgusting people that are pushing the, the American DNC moral garbage on the rest of us. And that is why. Hashtag Tubin did nothing wrong. Well, I can't say Tubin. Oh, I'm going to say in general. I'll just say it. Tubin did nothing wrong. What Tubin did was essentially he wasn't a responsible adult, made a mistake, didn't make sure that he was sending his video message to the right place. And it's clear he was sending his masturbation video to someone. I don't know who. I don't care. It's none of my fucking business. I don't care that Jeffrey Tubin masturbates. I don't have a fucking problem with Jeffrey Tubin masturbate. And I don't even think it's a big deal that Jeffrey Tubin masturbated in front of his co-workers because he clearly was not intending to do so. He made a mistake. Now, I mean... Somebody that works for me, if they made a mistake like that, yes, I would suspend them. Maybe two weeks, maybe a month. I would welcome them back. I would forgive them. All they did was, I mean, they should pay some degree. Uh, there's some accounting that should be brought to bear. And the, 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 the sin, the mistake is not that he masturbated. The sin. Or that he's masturbating and sent it to someone in and of itself. I don't care. If you're the president of the United States and you masturbate and you send videos to people who want them, I don't care. What I do care is that he didn't, I mean, if you're going to do something like that, you should really be extra, extra diligent in making sure that you're not broadcasting to the wrong place, especially when you're right in the middle of a work call that you're actually going to come back to. So all that stuff, 
Stupid. He deserves to pay a price. But it doesn't deserve to pay a moral price, which so many people on the right are so happy and gleeful for. Now, not all. There are, there are, I have seen people that have been like, they're laughing at it, but they're not, they're not saying the guy should be fired for it. So, but, but there are plenty still. And this goes to the whole notion of making them pay for their own laws, like holding them accountable by their own laws. I tell you, no, don't do that. Do not ever hold someone accountable by a law that you never want to be held accountable for by yourself. And I don't want to be held accountable to the quote-unquote laws that the uh, that the DNC, BLM, CCP, whatever that far. I mean, communist China is not communist, by the way. There are the communists. If you if you were looking at China, saying communism can never work because look at China. China is not communist. China is Han nationalist. Instead of Aryan nationalists, they're Han nationalists. They're fucking Nazis. They're, they're fascists. They're far right. Moral supremacists. Race supremacists. Which is what the BLM, DNC, all that garbage is. It's hot fucking garbage. I won't even get into the dialectical white supremacist nature of American SJW. Not SJW in general, just American. American SJW. The orthodox SJW of American authorities is Nazism. It's, 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 it's both straightforward black and rainbow face Nazism, and it's also dialectical white supremacism. It's fucking evil. It's disgusting. It's gross. And uh, I am not going to pimp its laws, even if it hurts the pieces of shit that are advancing the laws. So I stand with Jeffrey Tubin. CNN, don't fire Jeffrey Tubin. He doesn't deserve to be fired just because he masturbates. We all fucking masturbate. All of us. Well, probably 99.9% .9 of us. And, uh, I mean, I've never masturbated and sent a video to anybody. But, uh, I mean, I'm married for 18 plus years and neither one of us live remotely. So, or work remotely for periods of time. So, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> but if I was single, who knows? From a consenting adult? Who knows? I don't know. So, Jeffrey Tubin, as far as the masturbation is concerned in and of itself, Jeffrey Tubin did nothing wrong. The only thing he did wrong was he wasn't diligent making sure that the video settings were right. But other than that, hashtag Jeffrey Tubin did nothing wrong. Hashtag save Jeffrey Tubin. Hashtag don't fire Jeffrey Tubin. Even though he is a piece of shit. And that is it. That's how I'm going to end this video. I thank you very much for uh, your time.